So this is a list of some trigonometric differentiation and we will see the derivation of some of this. Mostly we will cover differentiation of sec, cosec and cot. And then this three topic are added to the new specification. So we will also cover the differentiation of this as in the derivation of this table. So if y is sec x, we need to show that dy by dx is sec x tan x. So we have to know the reciprocal formulas. We know that sec x is basically 1 by cos x. So I will replace that with the formula 1 by cos x. And then if I differentiate this, this is basically the quotient rule, the uv rule. To learn the derivations, you need to know this differentiation of the division formula, which is the quotient rule. And uh, this is basically we have two terms. At the numerator, we have the first term. At the denominator, we have the second term. So you can use the formula. Second term, differentiation of the first term minus first term differentiation of the second term divided by second term whole square which is basically your uv formula u by v so if you need to differentiate this we actually get v du dx minus u dv dx by v square so you can use either of this formula this represent the same formula since they are divided so I will just go with the u by v rule so that's cos x into differentiation of 1 which is 0 then 1 into differentiation of cos x which is minus sin x divided by v square as in second term whole square so this portion is 0 minus minus will give us plus so we have sin x at the numerator and at the denominator we have cos square which I can just write this like cos x into cos x. Since I have to show the answer is this one sec x by uh, into tan x. If we think that we have an imaginary one here in that case 1 by cos is sec x and then sine by cos is tan x. So that's the derivation of this one. Differentiation of sec x is sec x tan x. Next, if we have y equals cos x and we need to find the dy by dx of that. We will use the reciprocal formula. So we know that cos x is basically the reciprocal of sine, right? So 1 by sine x. So we will replace this cos x with that. And then we, if we differentiate this one, these are basically divided. 1 is the first term, which is the u. This is the second term, that's the v. So we will just apply the formula for the quotient rule, so which is v du dx and also sine x. Differentiation of 1 is 0. Then 1, then sine. Differentiation of sine is cos. Divided by v square, which is the second term whole square, as in sine x whole square. So this first portion is 0. Minus, co uh, minus cos x divided by sin x whole square so I can just write it like sin x into sin x so basically it's like uh, we have an imaginary 1 so minus 1 so 1 by sin x this first portion will give us cos x and then cos by sin we know that tan x is what? Sine by cos. So since cot is basically reciprocal of tan, so you can just reverse this denominator and numerator. So that's basically cos x by 
sin x. So since we have cos x by sin x over here, we can replace this by cot x. So that's the derivation. Next, we need to derive the uh, cot x, differentiation of cot x. And the process is more or less similar for each and every single one. Like this, we have the same pattern. You just need to take the reciprocal first and then you can start differentiation using the uv quotient rule, the division rule. So cot is the reciprocal of tan. So I will just replace that with 1 by tan. And then I will just apply the formula for tan x which is sin x by cos x. So if you just simplify this you will eventually get cos x by sin x. You can even directly replace this line with the formula directly that cos cot x is actually cos by sin. You can directly replace that. So basically y is then cos x by sin x. Since y is cot x, I will I'm directly using the formula for cot x. So here uh, cos x is the u, sin x is the v. So sin x into d dx of cos x, right? D dx of cos x is minus x, sin x. Then minus cos x will be here, which is the u. Then dv dx, differentiation of the sin x, will give us cos x. Divided by second term, whole square, as in v square. So minus sine square x minus cos square x and at the denominator we have sine square x. So if I just factorize, I take 1 out of it, minus 1, we get sine square plus cos square x, which is a formula, right? Sine square plus cos square is 1. Sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. So we can replace this whole thing by 1 at the numerator. So minus 1 by sine square x. So if 1 by sine is 1 by sine is what? Cosec. So 1 by sine square means it's actually cosec square. 